Uh, so welcome everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, this is the the AIDS network on um, presenting on prep. Uh, so we are um, recording this this presentation just to let you know we are doing that. And now we are going to read the land acknowledgement. Uh, Mark. Thank you, Eddie. Yes, I'd like to take a moment to read the land acknowledgement. Um, we acknowledge the land upon which we are located as the shared traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, protected by the dish with one spoon wampum belt. This historic peace agreement between the Iroquois Confederacy, the Ojibwa and allied nations represents a commitment to share and protect the land, water, plants and animals with respect. We wish to honor the original peoples of this land and express gratitude for the opportunity and privilege to work with communities across this territory. Thank you. Uh, okay, about the housekeeping. Uh, now that we are already um, uh, recording the presentation, I admitted someone new to the, to the attendees uh, list. So I would like to ask uh, you if you are okay with us uh, recording it, recording the this pres presentation. Please let, let us know if you are okay. Hi, it's Evelyn here. Yes, I'm okay with it. Okay, thank you. So we, we are going to, to keep recording it. Um, so about, about housekeeping, uh, we have a, a, a couple of points here. So uh, it's first is the invitation for everyone to keep this space safe and friendly for for all of us. Uh, you know, respect, uh, respectfully uh, listening to everyone, and also uh, using the, for example, the the raise hand tool to ask if you have a question. Um, every week webcam and mics. Uh, will be off or unmuted during the presentation part. Uh, we are not controlling it from here, so I just invite you to, to keep it uh, off uh, during the presentation. Um, we will have a, a questions and answers session after the presentation. Uh, but anyway, if you have a question about what, what we are saying and just not to forget what you were going to ask, you can introduce your questions on the on the chat um, um, window. So we are going to be able to answer that. One of the persons from the team is going to be um, checking the chat window all the time. Um, to present about uh, the, the, this this uh, subject about prep, uh, we have uh, uh, Mark, who is the peer navigator at the at the AIDS network. We have also Noxy, who is the Y worker, and myself, Eddie. Uh, I am the MSM uh, worker at the AIDS network. Um, okay, so I'm going to to. Um, ask Mark to start, start with the presentation right now. Thank you, Eddie. So what is PrEP? PrEP is an HIV prevention strategy that HIV negative people can use to prevent acquiring HIV and is a pill taken once daily. The most commonly used brand name is Truva Truvada. PrEP is also the same drug taken by HIV positive folks to treat HIV. And next slide, please, Eddie. PrEP interferes with the virus's ability to reproduce itself within the body. When on PrEP, you have peace of mind when it comes to HIV infection. Studies performed around the world have proven to be extremely effective in the prevention of HIV infection and is a key player in slowing down the global spread of HIV. And next slide, please, Eddie. I think we are there. Oh, thank you. Uh, so brand names versus generic. 
Generic brands are available in Canada. However, one of the newer brands that's available currently in the United States is not uh, yet available here. It's called Discovi. Discovi is a different drug combo of emtricitabine and tenovir and is equally as effective as the brand name Truvada. Discovi is uh, equally, has equally small yet different side effects to Truvada and people uh, generally don't experience side effects when switching from a brand name to a generic drug. Uh, it will not interfere with any of your other antiviral, uh, antiretroviral drugs. Also to note, it won't uh, interfere that way. Uh, and you would take genetics the same way as Truvada, one pill per day. Uh, generic drugs are subject to equally uh, strict quality control. Uh, so that's good to know when people are uh, feeling a little bit apprehensive about maybe switching from, from brand name to generic. Uh, the only thing is the packaging might look a little bit different. The medication itself might look a little bit different. Uh, <clears throat> the cost of the generic drugs in Ontario are about $250 a month. Uh, this is actually a quarter of the cost of uh, the brand name drugs. Uh, the benefits also to generic is that generic brands help to keep our insurance premiums down and also helps to keep uh, the government health costs lower. Uh, one thing to note about Discovi for when it does arrive here in Canada, it's likely to cause elevated blood lipids in people that are at risk of acquiring HIV through vaginal sex. So that's just something to note. And over to you, Eddie. Thank you, Mark. Um... Okay, how to take uh, PrEP? There are two ways you may take it. One of them is uh, one daily pill. It's the most um, uh, generalized uh, way to take it. Uh, it's also the most recommended. Uh, PrEP will work better depending on how much of the of the medicine you have on your system is going to be uh, stronger. So taking it daily uh, the F, uh, uh, is going to be uh, effective uh, up to 99%. Uh, but also if you are not like into taking medicines or taking a pill every day, you are also, or you are not you, you don't consider you need it because maybe you are you are not having a like a very active sexual life or you are not uh, considering having sex soon. Um, um, you can also uh, go with it on demand. Uh, going on demand uh, will um, be effective up to eighty six percent. Uh, as shown uh, by the, uh, from the last uh, studies. Um, uh, the only thing is uh, those studies only have been, um, uh, only have been uh, done on, on men who have sex with men and trans women. So as there are not studies on other populations, it's also, something that you will need to, ch to discuss with your doctor to decide if going, if you are not a man who have sex with men, or if you're not, not a man, man, or if you are not a trans woman, you will need to discuss with your doctor about the, the, the um, I mean, if on demand is something that may work for you or not. Uh, the way or the most common way you are going to take on demand uh, prep is taking two pills, two to 24 hours before um, having sex. Um, and then after that, one pill 24 hours after the two first two, uh, I, I mean the two first uh, pills and then 24 hours and other pill uh, after that, 
as I said before, the, the effectiveness is, uh, is up to 86%, but um, uh, I mean, compared with the daily pill, it's, it, 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 it's, it's something that you will need to, 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 um, to decide uh, depending on what you want. Um, about the side effects, um, this, this medicine, this, this um, um, pills are the same pills a person who already lives with HIV are taking, uh, is taking normally. So there are some side effects that we already know uh, uh, from, from that experience. Uh, so in the short, in, in the short um, term, uh, not everyone, but some of the users are going to uh, be, uh, to experience nausea, tiredness, uh, gastrointe gastrointestinal symptoms, and headache. Uh, as I said before, it's only some of the users. Most of the the people starting prep are not going to to feel anything. Um, these uh, short term uh, side effects are going to disappear after a couple of weeks. Uh, and um, then talking about the long-term uh, side effects, uh, because one of the medicines on uh, Truvada is the tenofovir. Uh, it's well known that if at, in the in the long term, uh, this is able to cause uh, some. Um, uh, problems on kidney and also on uh, uh, at uh, bone mineral density. Um, that's why if you are on prep, you will need to be in periodically um, check with your doctor. Uh, also, you will need to to uh, report your doctor if you have any pre-existence of problems on your kidneys or your bones, just to decide if you are uh, eligible to start with PrEP. Um, as uh, Mark mentioned before, there's a new uh, brand that they are using for PrEP. It is Discovery. And with Discovery, those long-term effects, side effects, uh, seems to be, seem to be uh, and uh, not present. I mean, I mean, I mean, they they, they are not uh, being report reported, and that would be like a great, great um, new to great news to 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 as a as, a, as an option. Um, getting prep in Ontario. What do you need to do to to get it? Just to start, you need a prescription. Um, you need to go and see your doctor or go to a walking clinic or go to a, like a specialized clinic uh, that are working on sexual health or specifically on PrEP. Uh, it depends on how comfortable you are talking about your sexuality, your sexual life with your doctor or if you prefer to talk about it with some, somebody else. Uh, the thing is to to decide if you are not, or not eligible for prep. You are going to be very clear, very open about your sexual so your sexual activity, your sexual life, and then uh, you are going to be tested for HIV just to discard uh, previous infection, and also you are going to be tested for other STIs. And um, it's important to know that PrEP will, all, will only uh, prevent you for, from getting an HIV uh, infection. It's not going to work against other STIs. It's not going to protect you also from, um, from, um, uh, a pre a, from pre pregnancy. That's why a permanent um, check on you and your sexual health is going to be performed every three months uh, just to, to be sure you are not getting something more. 
Uh, and also, it's important to say here that PrEP is not just a replacement for condoms, um, because still you are going to need to keep using condoms to uh, not to be uh, not to get a, a, another STI infection. Um, so now I'm going to ask uh, Noxy to talk about PrEP and women. Thank you, Eddie. I will ask for the next slide. Thank you. So again, I am Noxy and I'm the Women's Community Development Worker at the AIDS Network. And I'm just gonna talk a little bit about PrEP and women. Um, so women are sometimes not included in the conversation about PrEP. Um, I think there's a misconception that um, HIV affects certain populations more than others. Hence, I think that's why there's an absence of conversation about PrEP and women. Um, and we all know that HIV does not discriminate based on age, race, sexual orientation, or gender identity. Women are sometimes left out when, um, even when it comes to regular um, sexual health testing. And um, in Canada, there's approximately 8,000 women in Ontario um, that are currently living with HIV. Again, that's 8,000 women in Ontario that are currently living with HIV. Um, so PrEP can be helpful for some women. Um, there are many considerations that are unique to each person. For example, it could be considered by women who have multiple sex partners, women that have um, an HIV positive partner, women that do not always use condoms, women that use drugs and sometimes share equipment, and women that are trying to get pregnant with an HIV positive person. It is important to talk about PrEP with other women Hence, for organizations, um, for most AIDS-based um, organizations, they will have um, groups or drop-in programs where women can discuss um, PrEP and other programs and other resources that are available out there for women. Um, it is important for women to be aware of PrEP as an option. And PrEP is most effective for women when taken every day um, as prescribed by the doctor. Um, when studying PrEP, it needs to be taken, for women, when studying PrEP, it needs to be taken for a minimum of 20 days to protect against HIV transmission in, uh, in the vaginal tissue and seven days in rectal tissue. So this means it takes longer to be effective for vaginal sex than it is for anal sex. And I am going to ask for the next slide. And I'm going to talk a little bit about um, PEP. So not to get confused with PEP, we couldn't mention PEP without mentioning PEP. Um, so uh, PEP is the post-exposure prophylaxis. So this is when someone is exposed um, to HIV after, right? So with PrEP, it's pre-exposure. Um, so HIV medication that has, um, that an HIV, HIV med medications that an HIV negative person takes for 28 days to reduce their risk of getting HIV after a potential exposure. Again, remember I said it's an exposure after, right? So um, this medication should be taken within 72 hours it's very crucial that it's within that 72 hours and um, it should be started as soon as possible. And for easier access, it's easier to go to the emergency room or to a sexual health clinic. Because if you go to your family doctor, some of the doctors are not knowledgeable enough and do not have um, PEP. Um, they cannot easily access PEP. 
So it's easier to go to an emergency room or sexual health um, clinics. And sorry. Okay, so you need a prescription to take PEP. So like I said, some people go to emergency rooms. It's easier to go there because you can get access to it quicker. Um, but when you do get there, they will, um, you'll be tested for HIV, pregnancy, and other STIs and medical conditions like kidney or liver, liver disease to determine which PEP medications are right for you. And if you do go into the emergency room, you have to tell the staff that you believe you've had an exposure to HIV and you need access to PEP as soon as possible. It is very important to um, advocate for yourself because some of the nurses or doctors there are not knowledgeable about PEP, but if you tell them exactly what happened, um, then they will get the right person for you. And if you do not have OHIB coverage, you may have to pay out of pocket for your hospital visit and medication for PEP. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on PEP, so we're going to go back to talking about PrEP. I just wanted you to know a little bit about PEP. So now we are going to, I'm just going to continue and I'm going to talk about the cost of PrEP. So we're going back to PrEP now. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the cost and coverage for PrEP. Um, so if you do not have coverage through any of um, any programs at all, PrEP is very expensive. It can cost between, I'm so sorry. It can cost um, between $250 all the way to $1,000 per month. If you are collecting ODSP or Ontario Works and are en enrolled in the Trillium drug program who are over 65 years old, PrEP is covered. And um, as of April 1st, 2019, um, the Ontario Drug Benefit um, now covers um, individuals between the ages of 18 and 24. So PrEP is covered for that group, for people between that age group um, who do not have private insurance as part of the OHIP um, program. And PrEP is covered for First Nations and recognized Inuit people with status through the federal non-insured health benefits program. And then also some private insurance plans um, cover PrEP, um, uh, insurance plans such as the ones that are covered through the workplace or the ones that you purchase on your own may cover PrEP. And then now I'm going to ask for the next slide and then we can talk about resources and how to access um, PrEP. So you can contact the PrEP clinic. So this is web-based. Um, you can go to the website prepclinic.ca or send them an email. And then I am going to talk a little bit about the PrEP clinic, but I want to go to the Allen Clinic as well. Um, so the Allen Clinic is a clinic located in Toronto but they serve people who live outside Toronto as well, but you have to be within Ontario um, to access their services. Um, so the Allen Clinic is a nurse practitioner led clinic providing virtual care and in-person care as well. Um, so with the Allen Clinic, they also provide um, HIV counseling, um, hep C counseling as well. They also provide HIV testing and other STI testing as well. And then they can help you access PrEP as well. And um, in talking about the Allen Clinic and the PrEP Clinic, so both services do provide um, free um, services across Ontario. 
And I'm going to list some of them that they do provide for free. So they do provide PrEP assessment and pres prescribing. Um, they provide discrete PrEP shipping, appointment in person by phone or online. Also STBBI testing and treatment and referrals, support navigating insurance coverage, um, nurse practitioner and pharmacist support and care. Uh, they also provide referrals to specialists and other services. They provide wellness support and counseling, and you do not need a referral to access their services at all. So it's a self-referral. And then also there's the prep, um, prep start. So prep start is fairly new. Um, it's a program whereby someone who does not have coverage can get access to prep for three months for free. So it's a really good way for someone to get prep while they look for other types of um, coverage, be it um, insurance or um, when you're connected to uh, a doctor, then they will help you get forms to apply for um, access to PrEP. But PrEP set is a really good start. Um, if you want to start immediately, then I suggest you go to ontarioprep.ca and then you will see forms on there that can be filled out by you and your doctor. Um, next slide. And also in Hamilton, we do have um, Hamilton Prep Clinic. This one is located at um, 25 Charlton Avenue and it is unit 300. So it's here in Hamilton. And for people who are not in Hamilton, you can also go to these um, web-based web um, pages and you can also go to the AIDS network um, office locations um, you can go to our Brantford location, our Halton office, or the one in Hamilton, or you can send an email to any of the staff and you can find the staff directory on our website. Anyone you contact there will lead you to the right place. And then also people can access PrEP um, from Freddy, so it's gofreddy.com. And for freddy.com, it's not for women. So women have to find other means. So uh, apply using the other resources that I talked about. So Freddy is specifically for two-spirited, um, gay, bi, trans, queer men who have sex with men. So they can go onto that website and then you can get assistance as to um, in order to access um, and that is all for me. Okay, thank you, Noxie. And just just to finish with the presentation, uh, if you like to find out about accessing your personal risk and um, uh, if you are going to be eligible for a prescription, I you can go to this website and hivnow.ca slash prep write for me. And there you can just answer a short, a small um, questionnaire. And then you are going to have like, a, like, like an answer if you would be or not eligible. So maybe it's a, it's a good idea to, to, to test yourself before, I mean, to, to check yourself before and see what is going on. Um, now we are open to uh, questions if you have any. So we are going to try to, uh, to answer them uh, in the best way. You are free to open your mic to ask if you want to, or you can also use the, the, um, the chat window.
I see I, we, we have, we have a, a, a question here on the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought it was. Okay, uh, if, you, if we don't have any question, I, I'm gonna st stop uh, sharing my, my window. And also I'm going to stop uh, recording.